Hello everyone, welcome to yet another important video. In today's video, we are going to discuss about effort estimate. One of the very important, you know, task or the term that a developer will face in his, you know, tenure as a developer. So often in real time, whenever you are being assigned some task, okay, so your manager or your client, they will ask you, boss Rahul, how much time will you take to complete this work? Now, those who are working, they know how to manage, how to give some rough estimate. Or, But what about those who are new to this industry or those who are new to this uh, you know, technology? How can we plan for this question? What needs to be done? Because a lot depends on how we are answering this question. So in this video, we are going to discuss what are the points that we need to consider while answering this question. Okay, so without wasting much time, let us get started. And while doing so, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to like, share and comment because that is the only motivation I need. So let us get started. So whenever you are being asked this question in real time, first thing you need to think is what do you have in hand? And second is what is expected? Two important questions that you need to ask yourself so first thing is as suddenly when client asks you like rahul how much time do you take to complete this don't commit immediately unless you are sure if you're not sure tell the clients that okay boss you know, give me some time let me go through the analysis and let me go through the requirement clearly and i will get back with you with an effort with an timelines so a safe zone you can think like that and take some time buy some time with the client think about the requirement after your call and then give them the commitment okay now after the call is over sit back relax have a cup of coffee and think about this question like client gave you some requirement now in that requirement think how many reports do you need to create first question okay or when i say how many reports it can be reports and how many dashboards do you need to create in each report okay think about this also okay so it can be one report it can be one dashboard it can be anything okay so client might ask you anything okay so think about this next is when i say what do you have in hand make sure you have this information like do you have access to the database that is needed first question second do you need to install any application to access that database ask this question also okay so what uh, if you don't have again there will be some time that will be spent on you know raising tickets for this or you know, getting your data ready and getting you the access to the database. Okay. So first thing is you need to check if you have or not. If you don't have, first thing you can communicate to the client or who, your manager, whoever is that. Okay, boss, I do not have access to this. Okay. So then you will be given access to that. And then after that, you can give your estimate okay or while giving the effort estimate you can clearly that you know as of now i do not have access to my database okay so if i exclude that it will take some n number of hours like that okay so, but make sure whenever you are communicating whether you have access or not suppose now assume you have got all of this ready you are able to access now like i said first we need to think how many reports we need to create and how many dashboards we need in each report. Now, what is the complexity involved? You need to think also what is the complexity? Complexity involved. So when I say complexity involved, is the client expecting straightforward reports? Or do you need to derive lot of logics 
for that so when i say simple report is the client expecting report like this which is very simple okay or is the client expecting some complex reports or medium complexity like this so you need to think from that perspective also so there are some dashboards that are given by tableau so let us see that as an example and we will see how many worksheets are involved in that what are the functionality involved like if you take this as an example so there are like one two three four sheets are there in this okay now we need client is expecting uh functionality when i click on this or when i click on uh sheet it should get filter it should show me you know filter on click and also all of this client is expecting which means it will take a lot of time now this is this is about the complexity that you need to think so the more complexity the more logics you need to write the more time it will consume it will uh, take okay now whenever you are taking or giving the estimate you also need to consider three things time to develop okay and time to test and time to document or time to migrate or so you need to consider or let us say instead of documenting i will say time to analysis we call it as impact analysis okay so you need to consider all of this while giving your effort estimates first two are very important in this most often we hear these two or we consider these two while giving an estimate now based on that like say you have arrived at a decision that okay i will complete this dashboard in six hours okay suppose you have only one dashboard that you need to prepare and everything is ready like your day db team has worked hard to get you the complete data with all the calculations and you don't have much to do you just need to drag and drop and maybe you know rearrange everything in the dashboard so you said like six hours of time so if, if suppose if you are giving this time this time will include uh, suppose you did, uh, arrived at six hours so give like six plus two eight hours of time so give some buffer time you never know you might get some power issues or you know some you know something might arise up or pop up during your validation so for all of that we keep some buffer time so that we do not go beyond this time then so client will expect suppose if you are giving an estimate at eight hours you will expect that everything will be done in eight hours so now you need if you are giving you said eight hours but if you are giving in four hours he, he will really appreciate Are rahul very good job man you have completed very uh, not quickly like that but if you are giving eight hours but you are completing in 12 hours he will come back and said are what is this you are delaying like that so it will lead to unnecessary escalation now this is something that you need to create now sometimes client might also question you this is simple report rahul why do you need so much of time then in that kind in that situation also you need to explain kibar see this is what we have in hand and this is what we need to do so i need to develop i need to create a test cases i need to automate the time automate the reports so for all of this it this is going to take time so this is how you need to this is how you need to convince the client and tell him why you need that much of time okay so i hope you found this video useful if you like it don't forget to like share and comment catch you in the next video till then have a good day and bye bye